Welcome to SPC Insights with Dr. Bill. Simplifying SPC and statistical analysis, today we're going to look at rational subgrouping and controlled charts. So what is rational subgrouping? When you make an X bar and R chart, you take your data and you form subgroups. And rational subgrouping plays a major part in SPC. So how do you subgroup the data when you're doing an X bar and R chart? Remember, controlled charts study process variation. And the variation you study depends upon how you subgroup. So how do we select the right subgroups? In this video, we're going to take a look at rational subgrouping and overview. Then we're going to look at an example. And this example involves four machines making the same products. And we're going to have three different subgrouping plans, A, B, and C. And we want to determine which subgrouping plan is best. So let's start with an overview of rational subgrouping. Your sampling and subgrouping should mimic the variation you're interested in. Am I interested in shift to shift variation, day to day, hour to hour, month to month, batch to batch? Because remember, a control chart is going to tell you the variation from subgroup to subgroup is the same. So what kind of variation is being examined? That's the first question you want to ask when you look at a control chart. What variation is this chart examining? The X bar control charts monitoring the variation in subgroup averages from subgroup to subgroup while the range chart is monitoring the variation within the subgroup from subgroup to subgroup. Now you need to be able to relate these to your process, like oh, the shift to shift variation, day to day variation, etc. The idea behind rational subgrouping is let the X bar chart do the work. And that will happen when we follow two rules. We want to minimize the chance for variation within a subgroup and maximize the chance for variation between subgroups. X bar Control charts are based on the average range. And if you minimize the average range, you're going to make sure that the X bar chart does the work because it shows the differences in subgroup averages. So how do we choose the right plan? Let's take a look at an example here. And this is four machines making the same product. We have machines A, B, and C. And we have a quality characteristic we're interested in. And as I said, we're going to have three different subgrouping plans, A, B, and C. And we're going to determine in this video which one is the best. So plan A rational subgroup. In plan A we have our four machines A, B, C, and D. And the first subgroup we're going to form is by taking four samples from machine A. The second subgroup is four samples from B, etc. for C and D. And then repeat that process. So each subgroup for this is composed of samples from the same machine. With plan B we have our four machines, but now we're going to take one sample from machine A, one from B, one from machine C and one from machine T and repeat that process. So each subgroup in this plan has one part from each machine. And then our third subgrouping plan C are have our four machines here, A, B, C, and D. And in the process, that material, the product they're making comes down to a blended stream. And we're gonna take four samples from the blended stream and form a subgroup and repeat that. So those are our three plans. So which plan is best? We're going to determine by looking at the control charts and answering four questions. Is the range chart in statistical control? What's the estimate of the standard deviation? Is the X bar chart in statistical control? And why does the X bar chart look the way it does? So let's find out which subgrouping plan is best. And we're going to start with subgrouping plan A. Remember with subgrouping plan A, we are taking data from uh, four samples from a machine and forming a subgroup. So the subgroup contains parts from the same machine. We have our data here. We're not showing all of it. Subgroup one comes from A. Subgroup two comes from machine B. This data is available on our website in our SPC knowledge base. If you search rational subgrouping and X bar and R charts. So we're going to use these data then to construct an X bar and R chart and to answer the four questions that we have. So plan A, here's the range chart. It's shown here. You can see the range values are plotted. The question is, is it in statistical control? What a range chart is looking at here is answering the question, is the within machine variation the same for all four machines? The range chart's in control. There's no points beyond the limits, no patterns. So there's no difference in variation between the four machines. And what's your estimate of the standard deviation? It's R bar divided by D2, where D2 is a control chart constant and it's 2.02. So the within machine variation is the same for all four machines here. 
Now here's the X bar and R chart, and this is looking at the variation between machines. And is it in control? Nope, you can see that it's not. We have points that are red. It is answering the question, is the machine average the same for all machines? And since it's not in control, the answer to that is no. So we do have points beyond the control limits, as you can see, and the averages are not the same. So why does the X bar chart look the way it does? So remember how our data is subgrouped. You know, the averages for machine A and B are very similar when you take a look at this. They add, they're lower than the averages for C and D. Because each, remember, each subgroup contained parts from the same machine. So A and B seems to have similar averages, and C and D seem to have similar averages. So you want to find and eliminate those causes. Now here's range, excuse me, plan B. Here's the range chart. It's one sample from each machine. And the question is, is it in statistical control? It's asking, is it within subgroups of variation the same over time for all the machines? The range is in control. It's not surprising. Our first one was also. What's the standard deviation? Our bar is 7.15, and the standard deviation is then 3.47, which is a little higher than plan A's value of 2.02. .02. Now we go to, to the X bar chart and take a look at it. Is it in statistical control? And it's asking, is the subgroup average the same over time? Well, it looks like everything's in control, but actually the points are hugging the average. It's an out of control situation. It's 15 points in a row in zone Z, which is an out of control situation. So why does the X bar chart look the way it does? Remember, machines A and B and C and D are operating at different averages, low results versus high. You average those and you get near the center line. So now we move to plan C, and this, remember, is the subgroups from the four random samples from the combined stream. The range, is the range chart in statistical control? Yes, it is. Everything is within the control limits and no patterns. What's the standard deviation? The average range here is 6.1. It gives you a standard deviation then of 2.96, which is in between plan A and B. And then you move to the X bar chart for some subgrouping plan C. And is it in control? You can see from here, yes, it is in statistical control. There are no points that are beyond the control limits or no patterns. Why does it look this way? Well, it, it looks this way because the samples are taken from the combined stream that happens to be in control. So which subgrouping plan is best? The one plan A, where we take a subgroup from one machine. Plan B, a subgroup contains one from each machine, or plan C where it's just from the blended stream. Which one is best? Well, plan C is not that good. It doesn't give us much information about what's going on. Plan B gives us more information. It shows differences between machines, but not which ones are different. Plan A is the best. It shows the variation within machines is, best, is the same, but the variation between machines is not the same. And, and it showed how A and B were at different averages in C and D. So, in summary, rational subgrouping and control charts. Rational subgrouping, we did an overview, and then we showed our example with our four different machines, plan A, plan B, and plan C. And we selected plan A as being best because it gives us the most information and it had the minimum chance for change within a subgroup and the maximum chance of change between subgroups. Thank you for your time in looking at the video. Hope you enjoyed it. You can like, comment, and subscribe to SBC Insights with Dr. Bill, or you can visit our SBC Knowledge Base with over 200 publications, or make your own charts by buying or trying our SBC for Excel software for free. Once again, thanks for watching the video.